Hello again. Today we are going to see how we can change access sheet name with the help of invoke code activity in UiPath. Let's understand the code which I will be using in invoke code activity. So this is my VBA code. Over here, first thing I have created an object of Excel application class. Now I will be opening and assigning my workbook to the workbook variable. Similarly, I will be assigning my worksheet which I want to rename to the worksheet variable. And finally, with the help of worksheet.name, I will be able to assign the new name to the, the worksheet, the original sheet and save it. So this is my VBA code which I will be using. Let's jump into the UI path. We'll search for invoke code activity and drag it over here. The first thing, make sure that your language is correct. So I wrote my code in VB language. So I will choose a language as VBnet. If your, lang if your language of code is C-sharp, just choose the C-sharp from here. The second thing is copy paste your code or write your code into the code section. So I'll, I just copy pasted my code and I will save it over here. Now, the third one is argument. So all the variable which ever I have used inside the code like app, workbook, worksheet, or you know, file name, original sheet, and new worksheet name. I will make it as argument. So app is nothing but Excel application. So I'll go over here. The second one is workbook. So this is workbook and Workbook is also same. Oh, it should be Excel dot workbook so that you know it will be easier to search. So make sure that every time you need to choose Microsoft dot Office dot interop dot Excel and then you know workbook or worksheet like this. Similarly, the third one will be worksheet. And again, I will search it for you. Excel dot worksheet. Now you can see the worksheet. The fourth variable is file name. So I can copy the file name variable from here and paste it over here. Wherever I have doubt that there can be a spelling mistake, I'm just copy pasting. So original sheet. So I'll copy this one and paste it over here. And the last one is new work. Okay, so I've created all the variables. So I'm going to play with an Excel file, which I have already created in my desktop. So this is my revenue Excel file. I'll go to properties of this file and choose the path. In the file name, you need to give the entire name, including the path of this file and my revenue as a file name. And the file is XLSX. Okay, now original sheet. So let's see what is my sheet name, which I want to rename. So this is number dot month. I'll copy it and paste it over here. This is my original. And my new name, suppose my new name is, I want to make it December, just December dot. Okay. Okay, make sure you kill the excel you know application because what happened the code is working it is just saving not closing the workbook it is opening the workbook but not closing it just saving it so you need to you know kill it somehow or close it so in my invoke code you can see there is an error so the error says that it can't find you know the assembly reference for these one so I have two solution for it. So whenever you are working with, you know, invoke code and Excel together, uh, Excel functions together, you might get this error. So I have two, uh, uh, basically two solutions for it. The first one is 
go to manage packages in the all packages search for Microsoft dot office dot interrupt okay dot Excel so you will get a package over here so you need to choose this the first package okay and you can install it just click on install and save it the moment this package has been installed in your system you will see the error has been removed yes you can see the error has been removed so this is the first solution by which you can tackle this error and the second solution I will show you let me run this one first I'll run the process okay now it is going smoothly fine and let's see the result so I'll go to my Excel file and you can see the name has been changed okay now let's make it let's see the second solution okay now if I remove again if I go to packages and you know I'll remove this package and save it so the error has been reappeared so you can see the error over here so for that what you need to do is you need to go back to your code okay now you can see this is my code this is my project actually and the main is my code open this code open this main file with a notepad let's suppose I'm opening with the notepad now in the notepad you can see there will be a oh, come on come on come on come on come on we'll see you'll we'll see yeah this one you can see the assembly is uipart.xl it should be microsoft office in interrupt.xl the assembly should be similar so what I will do for that what I will do I'll just I know what sh it should be so I'll copy this completely from here paste it in my assembly section save it okay and just realign it again similarly and close it okay now you just need to close your project and restart it now it's reopening my project now you can see your error has been removed and now let's rename our excel file again so my name right now my name is my sheet name is okay my sheet name is dot I'll make it December uh, 0001 fine and make it okay let's run it to see whether it is working fine or not so in the debug mode I'm running it and fine in the package manager yeah I can't see my package the earlier package let's see whether it ran properly or not so this is my revenue okay now you can see it became from December it became December 0001 fine cool thank you guys and we'll see you in the next lecture